Browsers are about to get a new API, which can drastically speed up your web apps with just six lines of code. The Speculation Rules API is designed to improve performance for future navigations, and it is already available in some of the most popular Chromium-based browsers. What makes it stand out is the simplicity of its implementation, since you can just drop in a few lines of code into the header of your app and the browser will do all the heavy lifting for you. There are some really interesting new web concepts that make all this possible, so let's not waste any more time and look at an example. We'll start by defining a speculation rules script element, which accepts in its body a JSON structure that determines what resources should be prefetched or pre-rendered by the browser. Prefetch rules will cause supporting browsers to download the response body of the reference pages, but none of the sub-resources referenced by that page. In other words, the browser will pre-download the HTML page, but none of the associated CSS, JS or images. To prefetch sub-resources, you still need to rely on the prefetch attribute. As a result, when a prefetch page is navigated to, it will render much faster than if it were not prefetched. For the actual matching rules, you can use simple URL patterns. So you can apply the rule to all internal links, or you can narrow it down using more specific paths. What's more interesting is the use of the eagerness setting, which controls how quickly the browser should act on a potential navigation. Moderate is a good choice here, since the browser will wait about 200 milliseconds after the user hovers over a link before prefetching the resource. Of course, you could be more drastic and use the immediate value, which tells the browser to act as soon as it detects a possible intent to navigate. That gives you the fastest possible experience, but at the cost of more aggressive resource usage. And keep in mind that all these pre-downloaded pages are stored in a per-page in-memory cache, so on large sites or low-power devices, fetching everything in advance will not be ideal. Now, if you choose to pre-render instead of just pre-fetch, the difference is significant. The browser will download the HTML, but it will also fetch and execute scripts, load style sheets, images, fonts, run inline.js, and build a page off-screen. That way, when the user clicks the link, the new page doesn't need to be constructed because it is already ready, so it is just swapped into view. Of course, pre-rendering is more demanding, so Chrome limits how many pre-render tasks can run at once. That's why you need to be thoughtful about which links you target and how often this gets triggered. If your app has hundreds of links on screen, don't blindly pre-render everything. The Speculation Rules API is also a step forward compared to the old-school prefetch tags or manual scripting. It is declarative, and the browser can take into account system capabilities, network conditions, and user behavior before performing any work. Finally, if you are targeting users on Firefox or Safari, you can pair this with a tiny JavaScript fallback script. In here, we'll simply listen for pointer enter events and dynamically append a link prefetch to the head to delegate the work to the browser. This won't give you the full pre-rendering experience, but it will at least cache the HTML response and reduce load time on click as long as your caching headers are properly set. It's also important to note that the speculation rules aren't limited to inline script tags. You can also send the same JSON definitions via the speculation rules HTTP response header, and this gives you extra flexibility if you want to modify rules without touching your markup. And, despite the fact the API is still marked as experimental, Google Search already actively uses speculation rules. It prefetches the first two search results immediately, then prefetches additional ones on hover. This has measurably sped up user experience, reducing largest contentful paint by 59 milliseconds on desktop and 67 milliseconds on mobile. This might not sound like much, but there's also a psychological factor here. Users don't measure speed in exact numbers, and they just feel that things are snappier, so if the page they clicked loads instantly, they're more likely to keep clicking and stay engaged. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thank you for watching.